good day and welcome back to my channel. So, new project time. I've, with the F8 Crusader out of the way, uh, I think it's time to go ahead and crack into the next kit in that in the VF84 series in 148th. And this time I'm going to go ahead and do the F14. This will be the Tamiya kit that I've had on had sitting on my shelf waiting for me. Um, I've been kind of hesitant to crack into it, mostly because it, you know I kind of want to do a good job. So I'm going to play around with a few different filming techniques and try and uh, show a little more of what I'm doing as I go through this this kit and this series. Um, sorry, Becker, I'm going to do wheels down, so I don't have to do all the mods that you did. But you know, it's I, it's how my shelves work, man. Um, but uh, I'm kind of looking forward to getting cracked into it. So if you're interested in following on and seeing where where I go with this. Just go ahead and keep on watching. So let's go ahead and crack into That's this right. kit. Let's take a look inside the box. And I'm going to move this to the side here. And let's go ahead and slide in a little and change things out. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of plastic. Now I will say I do like the fact that in this case, all of the um, sprue are in their own bags, which is nice. And I'm going to set this aside, dig this down to the instruction kit, or the instruction book, and I see there are some hardware here. And I see we have, now this is interesting. I'm going to actually cut to that in a minute. So let me set this to the side. Oh, look, there's other stuff. Neat. All right, I'm going to set this aside. So before I get to the plastic, before I get to these other things, I will set these off, set these off. And your instruction kit comes, or your instruction book comes in a nice little baggie. It's a nice, but it has some other stuff in there too, it looks like. So let's take a look, shall we? This looks. Set that bag aside. This is a pamphlet on, hey kids, don't eat this at home. This looks like your sense of locations. And color call outs which is nice I like this I am I am liking this now I do intend to do so you also get three so you get the um, this version this one I like the colors of this one but I'm not gonna do that one. So, then we're gonna be doing the uh, Jolly Rogers because I like that look um, we have the instructions in a book form and this looks to be information on the Tomcat itself which well no, that's really cool so the different wing modes ordinance patterns very nice okay again I am growing more impressed with this particular model at least what we had in here another Tamiya Tech Ticks okay cool then this sheet is the transfer, so we'll get to that in a minute. Let's take a look at the instructions. And as always, you begin with the with the office. Um, looking at this, it actually looks fairly detailed. And again, this is 148 scale, not the typical 132nd that I normally work in. Although this looks to be on par with what I've seen out of the 132nd. Goes together as before or as i kind of expect um you get this piece laying over nice okay cockpit frame goes over then your landing gear and now we get to so this was one of the things that i really ripped on the original kit for um it just really didn't fit didn't work well and all these screws were visible on the outside this looks like that is not the case. It looks like we've got washers. We have resistance slugs. Okay. Let's see how that, we will see how that actually formulates out. And this piece, again, in the 132nd scale, did not fit well. Not without quite a bit of finagling. Um, but I am told that in this case, that is very different. And we move on to the intake, the intake ramps, working on some of the internals for the fuselage, getting that ready, um, your landing gear bay, and if you're going to do this gear down, which I will, sorry Becker, 
Um, you know, you, you'll pay some attention to this. Now I understand the detail on that looks pretty nice. Um, we'll see. I like where the seams are on those. That's nice. Looks like that's well thought out. Again, the assembly the assembly looks to be following a very similar pattern to the original one and to the way a lot of the Tomcat goes together, which is smart. Now here's the nozzles and those look good, at least from here. And they give you, they tell you how, according to your reference, which are, um, are the appropriate nozzle settings for what you want to display. Then you put your wings together and they slide out. This is cool. So you put your wings together and your wings slot onto those supports. So your wing mechanism, right, is the part that's actually doing it, but you don't actually work on the wing itself. You slot the wings onto it pretty nice. Uh, your landing gear looks to be fairly well detailed, at least enough parts, part, part count wise, I guess. Let's take a look at that. Landing gear on, doors open, putting your doors in. And then putting your pods, pylons, I guess is the word. And then all the other carriages, and then all the missiles. So interestingly, your seats and the final part of your cockpit get left to the end, dropped in and set in, which I guess makes sense with the way that was all going together. That's kind of cool. Your doors, you get the option of having a ladder, which is kind of neat. So if you want your pilots and you want to have your pilots in and go gear up, you can. Becker, I think that's probably one of the reasons you like that. Yeah, mate? Um, I do like the way this is formulated, you know, the way this all forms up. That's kind of cool. Then we get to putting the canopy on, the wing skirts. Uh, yeah. And then transfer. So some of your... These are where your stencils go, which is nice. I'll move that on the side. So this is your stencils. The big one was for the other transfers specific to the color call out and marking. Well, so according to the instructions, that looks pretty good. So here are the here's the hardware, which is nice. You get essentially polycaps, which will you know your screws go in, and that will help tighten that down quite a bit. So I'm pretty pretty content with that. Let's take a look at what's in the transfer sheet. Let me get to where I can get to the transfer sheet. I guess. Fingers don't want to work today. Are those masks? Um, that's nice. Transfers look nice. Cool. I like them. I do. Let's pull up stencils here. Oh dear, stencils. And then stuff for and so this is nice. So you also have the stencils for your armament. You have um, what's the words I'm looking for? Seat belts. There we go. Your harness. But this is cool. So you know, help make your armament look. More exit, that's pretty cool. And then that is masks. Nice. Masks. Cool. Okay. I will call both of those a win. Nice. So far, I am continuing to be impressed. And I will be even more impressed here with the way this was done. So let me point out a couple things here. I'm sure there's like a billion unboxings, but, you know, this is me talking about Tamiya and my view. So I like, so the front, your front canopy is got, is made in part in concert with this. So you don't have to worry about gluing that in. You can mask and paint and then just drop that on. Nice. Your instrument de detail. And then I can't tell if there is a seam there or not, but it looks like not. But I really like the way this was molded. So that protects it. And it is right. And again, you can see the um the canopy glass is molded into the frame so you can mask, paint the frame, and then be done. So 
I'm going to kind of bend that down, see if I can see if there's a... It looks like there's a little bit of a seam. Yep, it does. Right there, there's a little bit of a seam there. But that is something you can handle with just a wee bit of polishing. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't a gigantic, horrible seam. So, let's move. And again, like I said, this was a decent look at the... So these are your transfers for your different markings. Then you can also have one for the Enterprise and one for the um, Islamic Republic of Iran, if you wish to do that. I do not. I'm going with this. So let's start looking at the plastic. And I could spend the time to take all this out, but I'm not going to, because I don't think I need to. I think I can see all the things I need to see. The detail on this is very nice. So recess panel lines, very well detailed. I like the look of that. We'll see how well they go together, but I have much higher hopes than I did of the original. I'm gonna actually open this. The only reason I don't want to is because of the amount of time it takes to get through all that, because like I said, Box opens are box, box openings are box openings. So there's a very, it's, I don't want to say it's textured, but it's almost like the surface has a matte feel to it, which actually is nice. I like that. Um, there's some nice little detail in those bays. These are very well done. There's, there's surface detail here. Excellent. Very, I am... I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm glad I chose to do and give this another try. You said the surface detail on these are really, really nice. The recessed panel lines are excellent. They will take highlighting very well, at least based on what I can tell here. Each of the screw of letter. Get a look see at the under part of the fuse a This one's going to be fine. Countermeasure, and then there's some of the detail for your um, landing gear bays. I'm going to not pull this out. Actually, let's take a look at this though. So your pilot, your pilots are not bad. So your pilot's a little soft. But really, at 148 scale, that's pretty nice. So your ejection seats also are simplified, but okay. I mean, again, 148 scale, some really nice fine detail. I'm, I'm, I am not displeased with that at all. I do not think it's would really be necessary to do an upgrade unless you really wanted to be anal and go all plasma on it. Which you could, but I'm not sure I see the need. Your engine detail, and there's the instrument panel. Very nice. Very nice, actually. Very, very nice. I am. Color me impressed. Color me impressed. This is quite nice. So, again, your, this is what your landing gear, landing bay landing gear bay is going to look like. It's got detail. It's simplified detail, but it is detailed. And you can spend some time and upgrade that if you wish. Uh, we'll see how it looks when we actually go to build it. Uh, what's our armaments? What's this guy? And this one here is. So there's the office. In your, um, arms of your pilot. That's actually pretty nice. I mean, the the detail on the hand is actually pretty nice. The tub is simplistic, but your instrument panels are nice. I'm thinking you really do not need to upgrade that much. If you really want to, go for it. But I don't necessarily see a need for it, given the detail on those. All right, and then these are the armaments that came with. They're a pretty straightforward build. Okay, 
So that is the Tamiya 148 scale F14A Tomcat. Um, this would be for, and again, I'll be doing this one up as the Jolly Rogers. We'll go ahead and get cracked into that project here. Um, okay, Tamiya. I'm, I'm impressed. Let's see what you got. I'm looking forward to building this one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was entertaining. If you um, want to see somebody eat crow and be happy about a manufacturer and uh, uh, change their tone, you very well might be seeing that with this one. So thank you very much. And as always, please feel free to give suggestions hints down below. Just keep it respectful. And until next time, happy modeling.